Last week, I traveled to LA to photograph the Versace Fall Winter 2023 show for a photo diary for Harper's Bazaar Singapore. Before we get farther into this video, please follow me on Instagram at underscore youngshot to check out my work and support your boy. Quickly off the bat, uh, I read one of you guys' comments on the last video and I realized that I keep looking at the LCD when I'm making these videos. So I know you guys, will, I mean, I know this comment wants me to look into the lens while I shoot, which is kind of an odd feeling. But, you know, y'all tell me and I listen, so I'm gonna make an effort to focus more of my attention directly into the lens during this video. Getting right into it, um, there's a few exciting things going on at the moment. There's a few exciting things that have been happening. Um, and just feeding off of, I know, the interest you guys give into the flash photography videos and the one that I put up two weeks ago and it's, and it's doing really well. This is a great transition into today's video. I flew to LA for the Versace fashion show, the fall winter 2023 show, um, like a week or two ago, like a week ago. And I was there photographing on a project for Harper's Bazaar Singapore. Now, before we get into all of this, you know, like I said, there's been some really exciting things happening lately. Um, Career-wise, you know, personal life is a different story, but <laughs> you know how it is. Um, anyways, so just getting right into it. And uh, one of my goals for the year um, happened. And some of my, two of my photographs were on two billboards in Times Square this week. Um, I'm gonna talk about this more in another video, but you know, that's pretty dope, right? <laughs> um, so that was really sick. I was stoked about that. Um, and then number two, which is a work in progress right now, but in a week and a half, I'm gonna be having my fifth annual charity showcase that I do to raise money and awareness for scoliosis in general, but partnering with Scoliosis Foundation Ghana. Now, if y'all have been following me for a while or you're familiar with my stuff and my work and all that, maybe you've heard of this before. This is gonna be the fifth year I do this. Um, and the final year, I haven't really said this too much, um, but it's gonna be the final year because every year I've been getting busier and busier and this event takes a toll on me. Um, you know, it's a lot. And I mean, this year I'm an assistant, et cetera, et cetera, but every year I get busier and busier. So I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna like half put together an event in the future. And I wanted to leave off on the fifth year, like on a high note, you know, leave with a bang. Cause I mean, that's like a good amount of time. What, and, and, and then to, to transition into my next phase of work with scoliosis. So it's not just like a, oh, you know, that's it, wrapped and done. It's just a transition to my next, you know, layer of work with scoliosis, uh, next phase of it. But I'll go more into this in another video as well. Now, going back to the full story, the main reason we are here watching this video today is we're gonna be going over uh, my experience going to the Versace show fashion week, fashion, <laughs> going to the Versace show fall winter 2023 in LA last week. Um, so I got um, brought onto this job by Harper's Bazaar Singapore. And pretty much, you know, we we're doing a, a few different things, but one of the main things we'll be talking about today is I was shooting a photo diary for them of this event, of this show. And I know y'all are gonna find it really sick for a variety of reasons. Like number one, it was I was shooting this on hard flash, same setup I talk about with you guys. Um, and number two, I know y'all like all that celebrity stuff. Uh, I mean, I put up a reel of, of, of the, the runway and that thing has like, like two million views on TikTok. It has like, it's been doing all right on YouTube shorts, like on reels, it's like at 100K. Um, so I know y'all like this whole celebrity stuff and all that having to do with this. Um, and, and, and have, and, and going off of that too, like, I mean, a lot of the guests that I was there photographing, you know, were Lil Nas, Pamela Anderson, you know, um, Dwayne Wade, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, it was cool. It was cool. There's a lot of familiar faces because um, the cool thing about like what I do in my career and all that is that I've been able to develop you know obviously my main thing is my work behind the camera as a photographer but I've also been able to develop over the years my own image and brand so a lot of times at these events um, I'll be a guest myself so a lot of these people who you know who I'll be photographing a lot of these celebrities and stuff have become you know peers or or, or colleagues or friends um, throughout the years uh, 
so it's it's like a really cool it's a nice relationship and it was just a fun time overall anyways you know in terms of what gear i was using i'm just gonna link the video that i made last week that really goes more into depth on my flash and all that type of gear but this was a situation where you know like you gotta be on your toes you know what i mean like i don't have all the time to be like finding a composition for every shot you know i don't have time to be like you know super getting the settings perfect you know you don't like everybody's skin complexion for example is different and on situations like this where the shots are fast um you know you can't be over here adjusting everything like in the meantime like um so because then you'll lose your shot and these people got to keep it pushing you know um so a lot of that a lot of that's a part of what goes into these things you know like being on the field and being able to operate in the field and in the moment another thing is that Another thing is that, you know, in a situation like this, it's very easy to, you know, get caught up in the whole paparazzi stuff. And I've talked about this before. I'm not a paparazzi photographer. I don't like to shoot that type of stuff. I like to shoot shots that are like, that just not 50 other photographers can get, especially in that moment, you know? Um, so, so even, so, but I do enjoy shooting things like this when it's like a particular request or for something cool like a photo diary or something that makes sense like that you know or if it's like a yeah like you know what i'm saying like if it's something cool that makes sense um then i really enjoy it and and it's really cool so but for me it was important to find those moments and ways to kind of get in and and maybe take shots that were a bit more candid um and a bit less posed and a real more true diary feel, like imperfectness was more aligned with what I was going for than just, you know, standing at the runway or, or getting the same shots that the, you know, the paparazzos were getting. <laughs> we're getting, you feel me? Hey, yo. Um, but she's, um, <clears throat> all in all, it was like really cool. Um, you know, your boy was dressed in a nice outfit. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't this one exactly, but you know, I had a little bit of a more of a, of a neck underneath, but it was something like this. Um, you know, you know, it was, it was going cool. Uh, I, I, my uncle was asking me like, yo, like, you know, what does it feel like to be like with celebrities, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, bro, like, to be honest, like, you know, for me, it's like, I'm not really like phase bad type of stuff. Like, I mean, I've been doing it. I've been like, you know, it's, I've been around, like I'm around people with this for work and all the time. But in general, like even before that, I'm not gonna be like super phased. Like, like with that type of stuff, unless like it's like, I mean, not like I get super phased, but like if it's something really cool, you know, that I like relate to, or wanted to meet, whatever, you know, there's a personal story, something like that, like, you know, then it's cool. Like, so, I mean, not that it's not cool otherwise, but like, you know, it's like a little extra cool. Like, oh, maybe I feel inclined to like, yeah, oh, yo, you know, like Anderson Cooper, one night I saw him, at this thing I was at for Madonna or whatever, and I'm like, yo, bro, like, I used to watch you with my mom when I was younger, you know, like, it's like that. So I was there, and like, I saw I was seeing Dwayne Wade, so, you know, I'm from Florida, you know, 954 to my city, um, and I grew up, you know, watching basketball when I was a young buck, you know what I mean, back in the early thousands. So I was like, when I was taking some photos of him, whatever, I was like, yo, bro, like, I'm from Florida. <laughs> And he's like, word, you know, it dabbed me up, whatever, like, and I'm like, word, nice to meet you, bro. And that was it, you know, or like, no, Lil Nas was like, doing something comical in the moment. And he's like, oh, you, you got that, lol. And I'm like, ha ha. I, mean, I laughed a little bit too hard in the moment. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like a reaction, you know. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, it's cool, whatever. Like, I know a lot of times situations like this, because, I mean, I, it's, it's interesting, because, you know, I would get more nervous and shy, um, like photographing a club setting with like college students or like normal party goers, um, and like going up to them and taking photos really, than like shooting something like this at an event with like celebrities. Like, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> like maybe that makes sense, maybe not, but I just feel like, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I know I know. maybe y'all would be like, oh damn, like that would make me really nervous or whatever, like I would wanna do it, but it, I'd be stressed out. Like, in short, don't get me wrong, like I've said before in my videos, like, you know, I'm a dude that has, like, I'm like, I have anxiety, you feel me? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I don't know. I, like, I feel like once I'm more in my zone, like, 
and maybe it's because I feel like I'm in an area where it's like being respected versus like if I was like, you know, at like some bar like or like a club shooting photos, I'd be like, oh man, like I get a little bit nervous, like, yo, can I take a picture? Like, <laughs> but you know, so like I would not advise because I have friends who have done this when they're nervous. I would not advise to start drinking and stuff, you know? I had to check if my mic was on for a second. I was like, golly, bro, imagine I've been talking for 20 minutes, giving this good conversation, my mic is off. Man, nah, it's good, oh, it's been on. Anyway, so I was saying, um, yeah, nah, I don't advise like, you know, in these situations, drinking and all that, like, cause I've had friends, you know, like who, you know, the first time they go to an event, even if they're shooting or not, just like as a guest or as a shooting or whatever it is, like, they be getting so nervous and they're like, bro, I need a drink. They take it and there's a few drinks usually these things, you know, so they take a drink and the next thing you know, they're like five, four drinks down. And I'm like, and I'm like, Gabe, I'm feeling it, bro, I'm feeling it. And I'm like, bro, rookie mistake, dude. Because, you know, at these things, like they're professional things. So you don't want to be like, you know, you don't want to be like, you know, crunk, you know what I mean? <laughs> Acting a fool, you know, like doing wild things. Um, and then number two, like, you know, you want to be fully present and aware. And number three, like, you know, okay, if you want to take one drink, like, fine, but don't, like, have a limit, because this isn't, like, like I said, this isn't, like, you know, the 13th step, you know, this isn't, like, you know, this isn't, like, you know, your local downtown, <laughs> so you don't want to be acting a fool, you know. Thank y'all for watching, thank y'all for listening. Um, I'm gonna be linking that the video that I talked about below, but yeah, thank you all for watching again I'm gonna be linking the videos below. I talked about um, Please follow me on Instagram again at underscore young shot check out my work support um, If there's anything you enjoyed particularly about this video uh, Please comment down below leave a like a subscribe um, Let me know if there's things you want me to talk about touch on um, maybe do better because I do listen. I've been I've been looking more at the lens most of the video not all of it, but most of it is you know if y'all say something, I, I try my best, you know, I, I listen. Um, and, and yeah, you know, anything like that, any positive, negative, you know, any type of neutral feedback, anything, I uh, appreciate it. And thanks for rocking with me, y'all. Uh, the channel's growing, and I appreciate that. Uh, <clears throat> whoa. All right, y'all have a good day. See you next time. Hey, Bizarre Singapore, it's me, Got Meg, at the Versace Show.